Well, this cat's been, he's been requested, I don't know how many times. Uh, we're going to be looking at Jethro, and this is from Live at Jethro's 2007. It's called Dead Cat. Uh, now, he's been requested so many times. Him, Bernard Manning, there's quite a few people that have been requested, and um, there's quite a few people I keep getting told, like Bernard Manning uh, and Roy Chubby Brown, two, probably two people that I've been told, oh, I need to look at them, and about a hundred replies up underneath. Oh no, don't look at him. He's crude. He's racist. He's this, he's that, he's the other. I, I haven't seen really any of that for Jethro, but at the same point in time, it says something when the longest video you can find for somebody is like three minutes long, four minutes long at the most, at the most part, unless it's an interview and it's like 10 minutes. So we're going to take a look at this one. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. I drove, a, I drove a a fella's cat. And I killed a cat on the road. I wouldn't have done it, but I killed a cat. I said, well, I better tell the man I killed his cat. When I knocked the door and he came out, I said, I think I killed your cat. He said, what do you look like? I said, like that. <laughs> <laughs> he said, what did he look like you before you ate him? I said, like that. <laughs> 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 He's a 28. That sliver log is a twat. He is, because he had a throat infection and he couldn't swallow. He could, he could talk, but he couldn't swallow or nothing. And everything he eat, he had to have stuffed up his asshole. It's not you funny when you like square crisps. <laughs> <laughs> well, I went in the hospital to see him yesterday. He said he's stuck. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, a throat infection and everything you wanted to eat had to be shoved up. It's, it's not funny when he likes square crisps. Bro, what? How'd we go from a dead cat to having food shoved up your rectum? Just asking for a friend here. Well, I went in the hospital to see him yesterday. He said, they stuff everything up my ass, though. He said, I'm going to have a cup of coffee. So I said to this, says, could you get a cup of coffee for Travascus? She said, yeah, certainly turn over her. <laughs> <laughs> well, they put the piece of hose pipe up his ass and the funnel and started pouring the coffee. Well, for Christ's sake, he said, stop, for Christ's sake, stop. She said, is it too hot? He <laughs> <laughs> said, you haven't got any bloody sugar in it. It was the worst ever. <laughs> I gotta find more stuff by this cat right here. Oh my god. That's hysterical. I don't care who you are. Oh my god. <laughs> You're getting a coffee enema. <laughs> Is it too hot? No, it doesn't got any sugar in it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh Lord have mercy. Talk about an ass with fine taste. <laughs> Jesus. Yes, he. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> and that's a fun, bro for me. That's you got people like this who's telling stories, and it, it subverts your expectations. And for me, that's good comedy. Really, really great. That's it's better than any kind of sophomore stuff that you're gonna take and think about. But because it also has that sophomore twist of, well, you know, sore throat while well, it goes up his rear end. It's not a poop joke directly, but it's adjacent, but it's gussied up some. You know what I mean? Like, it's just good comedy. Good comedy. <laughs> Denzel's wife, she hasn't been well now, John. She's been in a, a coma for two years. Poor old son, that's sad. And they didn't know if she was going to commit it, but they was washing their family a fortnight ago. <laughs> And they saw a little blip on the screen. He said, well, I wonder if she had a little bit more of the way, maybe just enough to bring her out of the coma. Perhaps she's very susceptible in that area. I just give, perhaps if we got Denzel in and had some oral sex with her, it may be enough to just bring her out of the coma. It's a good idea, wasn't it? <laughs> that woman's face. Well, they got face. Denzel in there yesterday, so we thought if you had some oral sex with your wife, it may be just enough to bring her out of the coma. It's we'll all go outside, you keep watching the screen, and if you see any movement, let us know. In about ten minutes, he come out and he said, I think she's dead.
He said, what happened? He said, well, I'm wondering whether I choked her or not. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he said, Lord I, have mercy. Yeah. He said to me, he said, he says, my grandchildren, Christmas, he said, what did I buy them? I said, well, all for kids, buy them a nice jigsaw. Because it's lovely for the kids. It, it'll take up the time. He said, I'll do that. Well, I seen them boxing. I said, did they enjoy that jigsaw? He said, I wish to Christ I'd never bought it. I said, what happened? He said, by two o'clock, they'd cut all their bloody fingers off. All right, so that was... The one with the coffee is the funniest part of that. Of course, and again, I love the... Uh, choked her with the oral sex. Yeah, you, you, it wasn't the oral sex for you. It was for her. You kind of, yeah, got that one wrong. Oh, hell. So he's able to take and do quite a bit of everything, it seems like. I have to find more of his stuff. Oh, my God. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Like, again, just good, number one, good comedy. Good Good joke setups and everything, right? And just really good. I enjoyed this. Hope y'all enjoy it. Y'all be good to each other. Love yourselves. Peace.